<laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you're here. We're doing some farming hunting today with the Air Force air rifle. And I've got two squirrels. Usually they come out about this time. <laughs> so the crazy thing about today is I'm not hunting out in the woods going somewhere. I'm hunting from my own backyard. That's right. This is like the ultimate tree stand with three bathrooms and three bedrooms. So I've been seeing these squirrels out here. They come and they chew up the deer feeder. They've already chewed a hole into that. And also they've chewed up the corner of the house and trying to get up into the attic. So the squirrels in the attic is terrible. So we live amongst the trees, that's part of it. And I like seeing the squirrels, but not when they're being pests. We're gonna sit real quiet. Wait for him to come out. This is my view from up here. It's actually amazing. So I can see all sorts of animals throughout the yard and coming from a good way. The trees have just started budding. So there's not a whole lot of foliage. So I've got a lot of shooting lanes. I wish every tree stand was like the tree house. I could go downstairs, get a cup of coffee, you know, eat some breakfast, and come back up here. That might be the way to go. I haven't gotten them yet, honey. I think part of the thing is the squirrels, they naturally look up, you know? So I'm being kind of loud out there, I'm talking, you know, I'm doing my, doing my vlog thing. So what I was thinking, honey, if I get one of these squirrels, we could cook it. Uh, you've never had squirrel? I don't know if I want to eat it. It's good. I used to hunt squirrels on my grandma's farm and she would cook them up and she would uh, kind of like pan fry them in a cast iron. Uh, with some butter, they're really good. Really, really I'll good. Leave you to do that. Okay, well, my cook is out for the day. Uh, she said she doesn't want to cook squirrels. I'm gonna make her eat some because it's just gonna get more views that way. Oh, that's so redneck. You feel like that's redneck? Yeah. Babe, there's squirrels in every city of America. All right. There's, there's, there's eat them. New Yorkers that could be eating squirrels right now. Uh, they are a rodent, they are classified as a rodent, but they, they're stealing my corn. So they're corn fed. They're already going to be tastier because of that. I Meat's going to be sweeter. They eat acorns, which are a sweet nut as well. And uh, I think they'll be delicious. Emmy, would you like to have some squirrels? Yes. Uh, I'm going to sit here in my, in my kitchen inside of my tree blind right now and have some oatmeal because uh, that's what's for breakfast. I know if breakfast is going to be served or not. I come down here, I smell. <sighs> no, if I don't smell any bacon or eggs, I know it's time to go to the pantry and get a packet of oatmeal because that's all that my little man brain is capable of doing uh, when I first wake up. Coffee, little oatmeal. Uh, Got to be in real, real high energy spirits to do the eggs and bacon. This is a good setup right here where I can eat breakfast. I can scan out the window while I'm inside so I can actually talk. And I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor, which is Guns of Glory. How perfect is that, y'all? We got Guns of Glory sponsoring today's video. We can pass the time while playing the game. We're using mod a really modern new gun, not the old muskets that they use in Guns of Glory, but I have not logged on to this thing in probably five or six days, and we're about to see uh, what's going on. After I downloaded it, I got up to a level 10, and if you log on every day, you're, you get bonuses and points and things like that. Um, and I've joined an alliance. So currently, I am with the Winner's World Alliance right now. Yep, somebody killed all my people. It sucks. I'm gonna have to start training again. Take all the resources, because you're a musketeer. I mean, that's what musketeers do. You literally have an airship, like a Goodyear blimp, but it's a musketeer loaded with guns and all this stuff to to go attack different kingdoms and then there's underground tunnels where you can find certain gems and then take those and craft those and and turn those into different pieces of armor and equipment uh, it just goes on and on and on plus you've got you know gold and doubloons or whatever they used to call them that you can gather up all of those and then purchase really cool special weapons with that or you can just go steal all that stuff i mean it's musketeer land and guns of glory is interactive throughout the web so you can connect with your alliance you can connect with other people your friends and just talk to them and communicate um, strategize or just you know talk about the squirrels not being active right now 
my alliance sent me a bunch of chests with cool stuff in them. Well, that's good, because I need a lot of stuff since someone stole all my other things. Guns of Glory, y'all. Give it a shot, literally. Like hopefully we're about to do out here. It's down in the description. Try it. I think you'll find it really fun and kind of addictive, but not terrible. I just like to get on it a few times a day and just upgrade my, my troops, my farm, uh, my knowledge of the kingdom. There's all sorts of stuff. You guys get in there, click around on it, and I think you'll find it pretty fun. Thank you, Guns Glory, for sponsoring today's video. Uh, I've now got to get serious, and i got to get my squirrel game on. Let's go take a gander at the scene where it went down. I want to see if I can see a uh, a pole, a hole, which I should be able to if I missed. Big time hole, right there. Clean miss. Dang. Wow. I mean that is a whopping hole. So I missed uh, to the right. It looks like I could literally just hear the thud of that. There's some of that corn he was munching up right there. Looks like we might have ourselves a fresh deer track as well. Old Gimpy was here. He came in about four in the morning. One of these is pregnant right now. Not this one, but there is one that is looking just super bulgy. Okay, I just got back from doing some chores. On the way home, me and Steph went to the feed store and I got some extra bird feed because I was low and I got an extra bird feeder. Uh, the birds are going crazy out right right now, so I've got uh, I got one like double the size. And as soon as we got in, the squirrel was on top of the feeder, my corn feeder, and knocking all the corn out on the bottom. So I think he's going to return to try to get all that corn that he worked so hard for, you know, dangling and probably falling a hundred times to finally get it on the ground and eat it. I've got to sight this thing in. I'm doing pretty good on my tank pressure, but we only have a few shots to get this right. So I'm going to go ahead and make some adjustments, then we're going to fire away. Okay, I think I've got it just about dialed. I've been shooting here about five minutes, just really taking my time. Scope is hard to figure out. Okay, that should be dialed. Good to go. I'm gonna let this spot rest because I've been plinking out there. And I gotta go let out Miss B because the parents are gone right now. They need me to go let her out. And they actually have quite a few squirrels over there. So I will be taking the Air Force air rifle over there. We'll just see if there's any lunch munchers out there around the feeders, around the big oak trees. Well, the squirrels ran off to LFD's house too. Sneaky. 
very, very sneaky. This is like the ultimate scenario though for hunting. Literally, I'm gonna sit over here at my editing desk and edit and wait for the, the squirrels. I can look for them. I also have my motion detector on right now so I can hear the bell and then I can look. But I'm gonna jump up to the upper level as soon as something comes out. Right now I've probably seen more bird activity in the yard since putting up these two bird feeders and there's corn on the ground than I have all year, like ever, because it's spring now and all the birds are coming out anyways and the blue jays are fighting, there's woodpeckers coming out, there's things flying in like every second. I think sometimes the squirrels and other animals will watch the birds and see, oh, the birds are out, they feel comfortable, it's okay for me to step out, but it's not. Y'all literally, as I was saying that, he came back. All the blue jays were around the feeder and now he's sitting there. down on the ground down on the ground man that is my first animal with the air force air rifle that is crazy oh gosh i didn't think it was gonna happen but it finally did so you didn't hear it no i didn't did you shoot it there's one down on the ground i oh, got him no yes oh no yes and me yes squirrel for dinner <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, what were you planning on cooking dinner for dinner? Some salmon. <laughs> salmon? Some salmon. Okay, well, I tell you what would be good. This is a little recipe idea. Squirrel up. You know how you do like a marmalade glaze on a salmon? It would be good on a, on a fried squirrel as well, or a baked squirrel. A little sweetness, a little southern sweetness. Come on, baby. I don't know about that. Come on, baby. <laughs> I think Emmy approves. Come on now. You know, I did get a mango chutney. What there you go. Mango chutney, Bega. Mango chutney with a mango squirrel. Gotta love it. Come on now. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but let's go check the squirrel out. I've given it a little time to just, you know, settle in on the ground. He kind of tried to scurry up the tree, didn't make it, and then he fell. And so he's been just, you know, so I'm sorry. <laughs> That's sad. sad. <laughs> It's just, it's part of hunting, babe. You, but you want to let the animal rest and, you know, let it have time to pass into the wilderness of heavens. Perfect shot right there. Perfect shot, going right where I wanted to. That's fantastic. Okay, y'all, this is it right here. Really, really good shot. It actually had a, a good clean pass through, went right through the shoulder, through the vitals, and that's just a good, good harvest right there. Um, it kind of makes me nervous hunting with a Pelagon. Of course, I've never used one of these. Um, but you know what I used to think of as a pellet gun uh, You know you always want to make sure you're getting a good clean shot and the animal goes down quickly And that's what happened. So that is always a good feeling as a hunter and now it's time to go clean This nice female squirrel. I'm definitely impressed with the pass-through on that pellet gun I mean, I actually had that that uh, Air Force 
air rifle on the lowest setting, not knowing it. That's how they come from the factory, and it really is supposed to be turned up. I mean, about halfway for that that uh, weight of pellet that I was using. Being d turned down all the way, it complete pass through, and it was just super, super quiet. So, okay, we got all the extremities off. Now it's just time to peel it around the edges. Just going kind of slow with my knife, taking that skin off. <sighs> A little bit hairy, but that is a dressed squirrel. I was going to chop veggies on that. <laughs> well, we're going to chop everything with it. That's a nice lean piece of protein right there to go along with Good. some other stuff you got going on here. OSG already making that salmon, refusing to do the squirrel. This is totally organic, honey. You don't know what the squirrel was eating before I he do. Was... Do you? Yeah, he was eating nuts and he was eating corn. Could see it in his poop. Oh. All right, let's get to dressing it up, and OSG's gonna get a little taste test. In the kitchen with OSG. Hey, hey there. Honey. Hey, you. We're gonna be doing a orange zesty marmalade uh, cast iron butter sauteed finishing in the oven squirrel recipe. It's a very long title. I just, I came up with that. I mean, it sounded good because OSG, she's making salmon because she's scared. But she is kind of doing the same thing with the salmon. And I was like, man, that sounds really good with a squirrel. And I've never had it that way. When my grandma used to make it, she pretty much just pan fried. And we'd have a lot of gravy and tomatoes and, you know, a lot of southern type stuff. Have a stick of butter in the skillet. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, a little bit of blood orange pepper. Gonna mix that up and I've quartered it. So we've got the, uh, the four quarters and then we've actually got the rib pieces as well. Try to get it to lay flat, but it ain't gonna work. I'm just gonna roll it around in there. Now we can evenly lay out our legs. There's another rib piece. Braise them five minutes on each side, and oh, she's got a glaze going, and now it's time to stick these bad little, little arms and legs in the oven. Amy, watch your face. Watch your face. Oh, what's the oven at right now, babe? Uh, 350. 350. Okay. Are you getting a little curious about the taste? Uh, Come on now. Uh, no, not really. Babe, to top this squirrel off, let's get a nice serving presentation. You're always doing such pretty vlogs uh, with your food, your presentation. I've just got a, you know, Mr. Grinch colored bowl. It's still really not making me want it, but I'm seeing some hairs. Yeah, there are a few hairs in there. You know what though? You have your hairs all over this house and I'm forced to deal with it, so. But you're you, not actually eating them. Uh, well, sometimes I probably do, honestly. They're, they're probably all up in the pillow and they're definitely on the floor. Over a lifetime, I'll, I'll probably die of heart disease from all the hair I'm ingesting. I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but it's just the feeling. More like a clogged artery. Well, okay, so you've poured it on. Oh my goodness, hold that up and show all of these outdoor people the deliciousness that is mixing our kitchens together right now. The gathering of the organic nutrients from the woods and the creativity I feel of like the this Ocean is... Spoon Girl Healthy Chew. Uh, what would you like to try, my dear? Would you like to try a leg? Get a leg piece? I want the smallest little... Okay. This guy that right guy, there. <laughs> that little guy is all yours, honey. I'm scared. If you want that one. It looks delicious. Come on now. I... It's still gonna be hot, I bet. Okay. This is the moment maybe you've all been waiting for. Ocean Spoon Girl. Not the other girl in the background that's crying right now. She's going to try Woodland Creature. The only thing she's tried, well, no, you've tried a lot. You've tried duck, you've tried dove. Quail. You've tried quail, you've tried deer, uh, you've tried elk. Hey, Emmy! Emmy! Calm down, baby girl! Okay, Emmy, oh, don't grab the microphone, I got you. I got you, we're gonna watch mommy try the squirrel, okay? Here it is, for the first time. I don't know about this. <laughs> I'm like, I'm shaking. You're shaking? Come on I'm now. Shaking. I see hairs. Yeah, just get around it. 
I'll take a bite. I'm not going to eat the entire thing. You're in the pine tree forests. Take a bite. Take a good bite. What the heck was that? (laughs) That If that was the first pitch of a ball game, that would basically be you falling flat on your face, the ball laying behind you. (laughs) What was that? It's kind of hard to grip. It's like kind of slimy. It's got that nice marmalade you put on there. Yeah, get after it like a wing. Oh, it's tough. Yeah, it's a little tough. I mean, it's squirrel, honey. Come on now, get in there with them teeth. (laughs) There you go. Give it a good chew. You're the healthy chew. It's so Come tough. Come on now. Oh, this is why they say to braise it. Put it in that crock pot. Give it a good chomping on. Oh, there you God. go. There you go. Okay, chew it up. What do you think? What do you got on them flavors? Take us through the rodeo of flavors here. It's not bad once you get through the first toughness. What would you change about it? What do you What do you think about? Can you taste the game? You the mineral I just keep seeing a cute little squirrel running around. Oh the come on! <laughs> that squirrel was chewing up my feeder and probably would chew through our power lines and set the house on fire and kill us all. I would definitely try to like brine it or something first and like make it softer. Yeah, I agree. We probably should have done that, but this is you know just a just a, a fresh a fresh kill and cook basically. Yeah, and then I would use half the marmalade. And cook it in it, like roast it or bake it, and then the second half of the marmalade I would add. Get it real gooey. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Well, no, no, that's, that's a respectable bite. Oh, okay, a little good. nibble. Are you gonna try it again? Yeah, look at that hair. I'm not done. <laughs> okay, she's done. I'm done. Quote of the day from OSG: The glaze was good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I gotta try me some of this. Squirrel can be very tough, y'all. But let's just get on in there. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh God! It shot out of my mouth onto the. See, it did the same thing to me. <laughs> yeah. While wow, that glaze is good, actually. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Chewiness is there. I gotta say, if it wasn't for the delicious sauce and spices that OSG provided. This would be kind of a tough one, literally. Flavor's good. You get a, just a hint of gaminess right off the top and then it just goes away and there's a lot of good flavor. It does bring back some memories though, I'll tell you what. Being a kid, learning how to skin, skin my first animals and learning to eat everything that you shoot. You know, that was a big thing my dad instilled in me. You know, don't be shooting things you don't want to eat. So anyway, woo, there's a hair right there. I'm gonna work on this recipe, I'm gonna find a different way to cook it that is just a lot more tender and uh, I'm going to share it with you guys when I find it out. Mm. Oh, that little bite right there, not bad. And that is where I'm going to leave you today, y'all. A pest eliminated from the yard. My first harvest with the new uh, Air Force air rifle. Hit the like button for organic meats, y'all. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss a single dangle. And I've got links down below for uh, the delivery system I was using today and the family channel uh, where we do cooking and other videos and stuff like that right here at the treehouse. That'll be linked down below. And I'll see you then, y'all. Hope you're having a good time in the outdoors. Till then, later.